all just feels very different. It feels very final now. It feels like it's actually happened. As Britain's King Charles made his first address to the nation following the death of his mother, Queen Elizabeth, the country's longest reigning monarch, some in the large crowd gathered outside Buckingham Palace on Friday offered their reviews. He was composed, emotional. Um, Very human, I thought. Yeah. Mama, papa, that kind of language, always nice to hear. I think he did a great job. I think, you know, he's coming into a big responsibility. And having a big responsibility like this, he's going to have to be very regal about how he speaks, and he did a great job, you know. Obviously, every British person has grown up with the Queen, so it's going to be a really big change. Meanwhile, regulars at the Queen Elizabeth Pub in Walworth, South London, gave a more mixed reaction as they watched the King's Address Friday evening. I mean, I think with all the age range, I, I do think that it's going to be sort of a lot of tax money going into changing a lot of stuff, and then, you know, he's kind of old himself. So, you know, it's just, William should have got it, in my opinion, just economy-wise, later on in the long run, not having to change things back again. But, yeah, I mean, I think he can do some good. I mean, he can't do any worse. So, yeah, good luck to him. I think it was good. I think it was nice and all that. I, I hope he does well. But if you want my honest opinion, I would have rather seen William be there and not him be on now. King Charles paid a heartfelt tribute to his late mother during the speech and vowed to serve with loyalty, respect and love. He will officially be proclaimed king on Saturday at a meeting of the Accession Council at St. James's Palace, followed by proclamations across the nation.